Well, the recently released report from the American Cancer Society found that the number of breast cancer cases among young women are on the rise. Now, a mother and daughter are speaking up for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. ABC's Rena Roy has their story. Geraldine Lucas was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was only 27. I had no known family history and it was really shocking to me. Now she's celebrating 29 years cancer free, which she credits to early detection after she found a lump while doing a breast self exam, a check she only did because her husband, a surgical resident at the time, performed a mastectomy on a 28 year old woman. It was too late and had already spread. He came home so shaken and said to me, someone you know, someone you love will have breast cancer. You have to do breast exam. Geraldine had her mastectomy the day after her 28th birthday and underwent chemo treatments. They told me that I would probably go into menopause from my chemo. I thought I'd never have children, which was a real blow to me too. But four years later, Geraldine's miracle came, welcoming a daughter, Skye. When I found out it was a girl, it was very bittersweet. The first thing I thought was, well, she had breast cancer. Geraldine describes feeling like a medical oddity when she was diagnosed at such a young age, but now breast cancer is increasingly being diagnosed in women under 50 years old, according to a recent report from the American Cancer Society. Federal guidelines recommend women of average risk start mammogram screening by age 40, and people with higher risks can start even earlier. DNA testing showed that Sky did not have the BRCA gene mutation associated with breast cancer, but neither did Geraldine. Sky is now 25 years old and recently had her first mammogram. It is not on my friends' minds to have mammograms. There was some uncertainty about whether it would hurt, and it was pain-free. There was this sense of relief that was so easy. But Geraldine says getting to that day wasn't as easy. I had to fight with the insurance company and even with her own doctors to get the prescription. One of her doctors actually said to her, you don't need a mammogram because you don't have the gene. Geraldine's message to women in their 20s, be vigilant. And after years of seeing her mom spread awareness, Skye vows to keep the conversation going. My mom and her advocacy inspires me to advocate for myself and other young women. That is a legacy that we just have to keep passing on from generation to generation. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.